John here guys and today we're talking about the Acrobrat, the three inch freestyle frame that just took the community by storm, developed and created by oh my god Tommy Tibija and you know as it says right there on the package three inches never looked so good and you know I have to admit much like many of the great uh, frames of the three inch size I was a little taken by surprise when this came out and I can't say that I loved it at first um, very much like the massive droner which has become one of my favorite frames uh, because it was just so unorthodox it's challenged so many of the frame design conventions but once you really wrapped your head around all of the features it became apparent that this was a leapfrog product that just jumped us ahead in what's possible in a three inch frame before that three inch frames were really mostly about you know just flying around generally or they were racing style frames but you never really can get true racing performance out of a three inch i mean you can you can get the speed but then the flight time's not there but one thing that has become apparent to me is that you can genuinely get very real freestyle performance out of a three inch like this so what comes in this awesome package lots of things you can see the little grommets in there Lots of hardware, but let's go over the top plate very quickly. Here is another frame that I have. Now, what do you notice about this top plate? You will notice that it has three sets of 20 by 20 mounting positions there. That is how you get away with running a split or a turtles so easily. So basically you would put your split or turtles at the front, have your ESC in the middle, and put your flight controller and perhaps your VTX at the back um, and or any variation to that. But because those split and turtles boards require or cameras require an extra board, you really need that to be able to fit your build confidently in there. Now, what's the other thing you notice that these side plates don't screw on. They actually have those grommets placed on and then they float on the side like that, if you can see it there. And the interesting part about that is that will isolate so much of the vibration on there. Now on this frame right here, I have the red ones mounted on there. I really like the way that those feel. Um, it, it, it's, it's gotten me the smoothest footage and it's also very comfortable to fly. Um, so really, really cool product. Now let's talk about the other thing that I want to cover in this review, which is the run cam split. Now this is the first version. I believe that the, the second one is improved a little bit. Uh, but most of the improvement that I think involves narrowing this two camera board system down to one board. Um, and that's not really that big of a, a issue if you have a frame like this that you can comfortably run both. Now, I am also testing out printing 3D printed things right now. And I have printed this hardware kit. I'll leave the links in the description. If you have a 3D printer and you're able to print TPU, um, you, can, you can also print out these bumpers these front bumper things the uh the front little cage right here or the front bumper and then these little motor protector guards and uh normally i would say that you know why add that weight now you can see i'm testing these prints because i haven't cleaned them up all the way but i do like the protection that they add and if this truly is to be a small freestyle package you know you're going to be crashing if you're bando bashing that's just how it goes if you're flying around playground equipment you want these here to protect to give a little bit of extra softness this is a tpu that is yogi it's very very soft and flexy and i really like that for absorbing impacts you can tell right here you can see how it moves that's going to provide a lot of um isolation let's go over the rest of the build i have the hg lrc stack in the middle i believe this is actually the hg lrc um vtx so it's the whole vtx and uh then i have an fr sky receiver in there this again is the run cam split and i have the new lumineer micro axi look how tiny that thing is so i have actually a little pla 3d printed holder right there some forever antenna tubes and uh i'm just enjoying this thing immensely now i went with some small dys 1306 3100 kv motors for this build why why you've been so used to the gigantic 1507 motors why would you go with something so small well, let me tell you guys, with the run cam split, the image is amazingly clear. It's better than the Falcor. It's better than the Eagle Micro. It's better than any camera. And I'm talking about the FPV feed. When I put my goggles on for the first time, 
I, I didn't know what I was looking at. I didn't recognize it as an FPV feed. That's how clear the image was, but it comes at a price. There is definitely some latency involved. And I would say the latency is even greater than the latency I had commented on on the Falcor. Um, but that's okay because the image that comes out of this is quite impressive. It's very close to the quality that you would expect from a GoPro with a camera inside. Now, I will note that many people that run this frame like to do so with a dual camera mounting system. But for my purposes, playgrounding around, I find that if you just keep yourself off of high throttle and you can run some nice, very smooth, small motors like this and just keep your flights nice and easy easy now make no mistake this actually because it's so light still has enough power to do some very impressive maneuvers and a lot of freestyle i have found if you are doing tricks in the same areas over and over again is really timing based and so if you know those tricks by timing if you're one of those freestylers that can do every trick by just feel of the thumbsticks then things like latency don't really matter as much to those type of pilots and uh, i found that getting some of those tricks down it's very easy to get nice and smooth fun footage on a playground or other places with this thing so i'm going to definitely include some of that footage um i really like the split i was split on whether or not i was going to like it or not but it's very fun and i have to say though one note is this thing is large for a, th a three inch, the footprint is very large. Here it is next to an Airblade Eclair, which is also a three inch freestyle HD footage getting frame. And look at how much smaller the footprint of that is compared to this. So that's not better or worse. Uh, it's, I'm guessing this is probably gonna be slightly heavier, but I will say when you extend the arms out, from each other, you're gonna be getting smoother footage, you're gonna be getting smoother flight. Um, this is uh, a definitely a very stretched X, which uh, Tommy said that he loves uh, the way that stretch X, X flies, and I, I have to say for a large part, um, I definitely agree with him. Now, what's interesting though, is if this would have been made just very slightly bigger, in fact, if the stretch wasn't so pronounced and you had a little more spacing here, you probably could have fit four inch props on here. That would have really been fun. Normally, I would say three inch and four inch frames are something that's totally different from each other, but the size is almost there. I mean, it really is. If you, if you look at something like a Tooth Fairy four inch, the footprint isn't that much bigger than this. It's just a few extra, maybe an extra centimeter on all corners, but, if you're looking for something compact, if you want to get HD footage, if you want to do it in style, I mean, goodness, isolation. Why worry about mounting your flight controller or soft mounting your camera when you can soft mount the entire top plate? Very clever. And I love this Uma grip that comes with it. Look, it's almost sticking to my finger right now. I can almost lift the whole thing. That really keeps your battery in place. Um, I love it. It's just, I can't say enough of this. After owning this frame, I went and bought a whole bunch more of just the Uma grips to put on other frames, which I'm going to be doing very soon. So what do you guys think? Are you into micro sized freestyle? I do like that this thing, although it's not super light, it is light enough to where you don't really have to worry about crashing into things as much as you would on a larger five inch. Also the three inch size and lightweight keeps it quite nimble, easy to change directions quickly. Um, so what do you guys do? Do you run the dual camera split uh, setup with a, with a faster HD cam? I can see how that would be preferable in flight performance to carrying a GoPro on something small, although the footage probably isn't gonna be quite as good. It's a very good alternative to that. Um, what are you guys doing? Do you have any other 3D print kits on there? There is an entire Facebook group called the Acro Brats. So if you're thinking of joining uh, or thinking of getting one of these frames, definitely join there. You'll see lots of awesome build, you know, specs and other questions being asked, solutions. So definitely join that group. I've learned a lot. I wanna say I maybe found the links to, the, to this kit on there, uh, which I'll also share. So onto the footage. Thanks guys.